Hello there, my name is Maxine Jones and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a really simple rust effect using the Indigo Blue paints and other products. So, enjoy! What I'm going to do is use a stencil. This is one of the Christmas stencils which is very new. Um, it came out this month and it is, um, as you can see here, where I've used it with the uh, with some paint, but that's okay. I have washed it off, um, but left some of it on there, so I'm not too fussed. And I'm going to just use some of the words here, <clears throat> excuse me, with my paste. So I'm going to get a little bit onto my spatula here, and then I'm going to just slowly go over. And I'm just fast forward in here so that you don't have to watch me um, go through that stencil there. And then I've got another one here, which is another new one, and it's got stars all over it. So I think what I'm going to do is throw some stars up the top here. I'm not going to do the whole lot, I'm just going to do a few. I'm doing these quite roughly because I don't want them to be all perfect. Ta da! So what I'm going to do is get a little bit more here, and I'm going to put it in some of the areas around some of the edges. I'm using my palette knife here. Um, and I've forwarded the video nice and fast forward so you don't have to watch me um, do this all slow and then I shall use my finger just to smooch it in and give it some lovely texture some areas are nice and thin like um, right here where I'm about to go in the middle and um, yeah just uh, leave that to dry I did try and help bleep, blah, 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 use the heat tool on here, um, um, but this is very thick, so that needs to dry a little bit more naturally, so I shall let that to dry on its own. So in the meantime, I am going to add some stamps. Now this is the new Peace on Earth set, it's the A5 set there, which you can see, and um, it's got lots of uh, Christmassy, I mean look at that beautiful, beautiful angel there. Now Kay designed this especially for our Elizabeth Robinson, um, who was, well, she just she just wanted this sort of imagery um, and she definitely wanted something that said peace on earth. So what I am going to do is take some of those and stamp them onto here. I have got my stamp, one of the stamps here mounted up onto a block. Um, and I'm going to use some archival, I'm just going to use the Ranger archival ink here. I'm using the archival because I know it's waterproof, obviously I need to heat set it. And here I'm just stamping very randomly and quite lightly all over to get texture. My archival ink again, and I'm going to give it a really good old thump on there. My uh, ink pad's quite old. <laughs> So I'm going to be getting this in there so that I've got a, it right in the middle and giving it a good press and mind my hand. I'm going to press, press, press. Ooh, that's my table cracking. <laughs> it's solid oak. It's okay. It can withstand it. Okay. There we go. I want to give that a nice, nice firm press down. Um, remember this is um it's hardboard there or well it's actually mdf but uh it's hard and it's a board <laughs> right there we go it's kind of a little bit skew if a little bit wonky that's okay um it looks it looks pretty right there we go i'm just dabbing off my stuff so i'll just put those to one side i have also got little stars here um, I suppose I could add a little bit of texture in, in places just very lightly. Um, so I will um, stamp this up as well. Oh, I'll have this in short so you can't just hear it. And this I'm going to stamp lightly. So look, so that it's not completely coating the um, stamp so in all areas. Um, and then I'm going to, I think I might do them this way. See how they're quite light. I don't want a solid um, imprint of them. I just want there. I just want a little bit here and there, you know. 
and I think I might bring it in just a tad there. Okay. Just, just, just something, you know. Oh, maybe a quick bit there. Okay. <laughs> Me being the perfectionist, I was like, oh, I have to use that bit. There we go. <laughs> Quick start there. I'm happy now. The first colour that I will use is, is I'm just having it here, is the hot cocoa. And this is what I'm going to use. Now, I shall just select an area. I think I'll just concentrate here um, where I know things are dry. Uh, uh, this is still very wet here. Well, it's not very wet. It's dry on the surface. It's wet in, in underneath the, that thick layer. So I'll work where it's dry for you so that uh, you don't have to um, see me do the whole lot. Because, you know, you just want to see a quick how it works and um, and so that you can just go on and, and try it yourself because that's what this is all about at the end of the day. Right, I'm going to put some of my uh, paint to the side. I've got a palette here, uh, one of those disposable palettes that I just keep using. And I shall uh, put the lid back on my paint so it doesn't dry off. And I shall get my paint mixed in. Okay, so I've got my brown paint here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it directly onto the areas that have the texture paste or the modeling paste as this is actually called. I've mixed some of the brown with the orange and um, I'm going to apply that so that just lightens up areas. I know I've got far too much orange on my actual brush but <laughs> I have actually mixed it in and I'm just going to blob that in. I, I'm not going to cover it completely, I am literally going to just blob that on. So I'm covering up the brown but not completely and uh, just that's the orange that's giving it that lovely rust effect. I've gone over in, you know, with the sea and stuff like that. You can always go in with a bit of tissue and um, try and get some of that off. Um, but it doesn't matter because we're going to apply a bit of water as well to that soon, which uh, I'll, I'll just spray it on and then get some nice effects with that. So I'm going to do that now with the piece and I'm going to just spray that there. Give it a bit of a wiggle. Um, let it sit there and then I'm going to tilt it like that and then it will drip I don't know if you can see that if I focus in on that word piece there if I zoom in on it for you wow okay and then you, there you go can you see what it's done there yeah and that's been using the water let that um in the middle there it's not brilliant I will I'll fix that so yep yeah, I'll let that uh do its thing um, and I will spray in different areas now where I've added the orange on top um, just to um, and then I should do the same thing where I should just tilt it slightly and let it drip I've already decided that this is something that's going to be you know that that way so if this was hanging up on a wall or <clears throat> or as a sign flapping around in the wind and it got wet, those bits of metal have gone rusty and they're dripping in that direction, like that, yeah? At least they are in my mind anyway. <laughs> okay, and that's how you, you, you're getting that nice effect there. It's quite, quite a bit of water and that's just the lid falling on the floor. Okay, so we'll let that dry and be back in a bit. I've left that to dry. I've actually given it a bit of a blast with a heat gun once I was happy with everything. Just to quickly bring this in, I don't think I showed you that I used this burning bonfire, um, which is what I used to mix in with the brown 
to get that lovely orange and here you can see it on the brush look how bright and vivid that is isn't it just gorgeous so um that is uh, what i did you could um take it further if you wish you could go in and pick out just the orange onto a smaller brush and you can add specks of it just to really highlight some of the um areas in with a more a vivid bit of the orange and also what you could do if you wanted to is you could add it to, to just sort of like areas here which is what I'm going to do here where where I've got some of that paste there I'm going to add just a little hint of orange and then I'm going to get my water and I'm going to add it just in there and then I'm going to watch that orange do its thing it's going to sort of spread into the water in fact I'm just going to add a bit more I'm going to go a bit nuts I'm going to go crazy there we go and uh and i'm going to add it into areas where i can still see, see some of the white in so i'm basically covering where i can see the texture paste um, around the edges of the letters and and all those other places um, there and then spray them with a bit of water you can if you want to you can add a little bit of um a post box red as well which is what i you know did in some cases um in some places rather not cases um with a really 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 fine brush you don't have to do this but but you know you can and uh that just adds a little bit of extra in there just that red um because uh you can see all these different colors in rust rust is pretty amazing I mean, it can ruin your stuff, but <laughs> it looks pretty sometimes, at least. Anyway, and those red bits I will spritz as well, just to make them. Oh, that's my, <laughs> my love noise in there. So there you go. Because you don't want too, as much of the red there. I'm going to add a bit of the red down there as well. Um, but that, that's it. That's what I did. It looks, um, it does look nice. There we go. I'll let that dry, let that spread. If you're not happy, um, if you've added, like, say, like a bit too much, like I think I've got too much red there on the on that piece, I'm going to take it just a piece of tissue, just dab it. So we have, we've got here the um, the paint dried in areas. It's um, and I'm going to add a tiny bit of pheasant bronze. I've mixed it in with a little water, and I'm going to add it in some parts now i want to add it in some of these areas just here that aren't quite on the rust so i did this for a little emphasis on the metallic you don't really need to add it um it i put too much on so yeah maybe just less or watered down and then uh <laughs> again i'll just put my brush down right look at that lovely this is, this is me, this is crafting. If you don't like getting messy, get out the craft room. <laughs> now I'm sure that every crafter loves it. Don't mind getting a bit painty. Don't know, um, just add a bit more there as well. This is the bit of orange and brown mixed together on the edge there and in some areas. Um, that's it really. I'm just going to leave that to dry. That's how I did the effect. Really. I think if you just have a play with it and, and you'll, you'll find, you'll find it, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see how it works for you.